Namaste. Welcome, welcome to our practice today. Let's come on to our mat. Have available to you what you need for your practice as usual. I invite you to have your blanket that you can fold to either seat, be seated upon or to layer between your joints and the earth. Have available either a low footstool, a low chair, blocks, or be close to the wall or furniture so that you have the option available to you to reach out and seek stability and balance from the props. They represent the earth rising up to meet you. Our practice today is a practice of activation and a response to the call for freedom and liberation. So our practice today will be a strong practice. And when I say strong practice, I don't mean fast. I mean, it's hatta. Hatta means forceful. So it will be a practice in which I invite you to activate and engage physically by hugging your muscles in towards the bones. So contracting the muscles, drawing them into the midline. So imagine that you're hugging your body in. Just even seated here, imagine you're drawing that external extremities of your body towards the middle and then you'll notice how your thighs engage, your muscles engage, your um, muscles of the arms engage. You can zip everything in towards the midline by imagining that there's a zipper that runs through the middle and that you hug everything in to draw the zipper. Our mantra for today is Mukshaham, an affirmation of our true self, the true liberated free self. When we are in pure awareness of our spirit, our soul, without the containment or the boundaries of the earthly material. Self, all of the upon. Cross the wrists. And then turn the palms together. Turn the fingers down towards the earth, in towards the heart, and then up towards the chin. This is Nirvana Mudra. And then roll your shoulders down and away. If you experience any um, delays in the image and sound today, just note that where I'm having a few Wi-Fi issues here in my area. Connect through the lower part of the body into the earth. So every part of your body that's connected with the earth, root through. Imagine that you are physically attached and at one with the earth. And then lift the spine, lengthen the crown towards the sky. The upper part of your body is rising up, is expanded, connected with the skies, the cosmos. The eyes are closed. We'll chant Mukshaham and then Om three times to open. Hum means I am, moksha, freedom, liberation. Moksha hum, moksha hum, moksha hum, om, om. Om Mukshaham 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 Om Om 
Mukshaham, Mukshaham, Mukshaham. Om, Om. As you exhale, release the fingers, open out the arms, to open the wings of the heart, expansive and open here. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, bring your hands together in Padma Mudra, the lotus flower representing how we grow from the roots in the mud, actively grow up towards the light and flower. Exhale, hands to the heart in Anjali, the seed of potentiality. Inhale, reach up with the breath. Exhale, Anjali to the heart. Inhale to reach up, Anjali to the heart. Bring your right hand to the earth, reach up with the left arm towards the right. You may bring your forearm to the earth. Keep that left sit bone heading down towards the earth. Inhale through center, left hand to the earth. Reach up, up and over with the right arm. Again, you have the option of bringing the left forearm to the earth. Keeping that right sit bone connected with the earth. Inhale through center, reaching up, hands in your Padma. Exhale, Anjali to the heart. One more breath here, open up. Hands in Padma. This time as you exhale, let's bring the right hand to the earth behind and left hand on the heart. Gaze over your right shoulder. With your hand on your heart, connect with the sense of what freedom tastes like to you. What is the taste of freedom? Inhale to reach up, Padma. Exhale, left hand to the earth, right hand on the heart. How is liberation different to freedom? Inhale, center, reach up. Bring your hands together in your Padma. Anjali, the seed of potentiality to the heart. Take a moment here. Let's bring our hands directly to the earth. Rise up on our knees. Coming onto our knees and onto all fours here in Bamarasana. Table pose, spread your fingers wide. Take a moment here. As you exhale, let's walk the hands away and then lower the heart towards the earth. Only come as far or as close to the earth as feels comfortable for you. Your variation of Anahatasana here. Mukshaham. Mukshaham, breathe into the back body here. Imagine that your heart is fully expanded beyond the physical self here. Inhale, lift your eyebrows, enter, walk your hands back towards your body, coming back into Bamarasan. Take the knees wide, big toes in. Left hand comes to the center of your mat, draw the right hand to the heart and lift your gaze up towards the sky. Maintain that right hand on the heart for today. Exhale to turn, gaze down towards the earth, bring the right hand to the center of your mat, and now let's draw the left hand to the heart and lift your gaze.
exhale turn to center bring the left hand to the earth bring your knees underneath your hips take a moment here let's cat cow Madriyasana, Vitliyasana cycle, start the movement at the base of the spine and allow the wave to travel all the way along the length of the spine so that you are opening your heart, contracting, expanding three times in your round of Madriyasana, Vitliyasana. As we work with the concept of what it means to be free, what it means to be liberated. Free is something that you are. Liberated is something that you achieve and work towards. Liberation is a releasing of the shackles, of the boundaries, of the constraints. Free is a sense of space and expansion. So freedom is a state of being, liberation is an action. Coming back into stillness, take a moment here. Reach back along with the right hand, tuck the right foot rather, tuck the toes there. Bring the left hand to the heart and let's open up the heart towards the sky. And again, maintain this connection between the hand and the heart. I know it's very tempting to reach up towards the sky or bring your hand to the sacred, but let's maintain this connection with our heart. Exhale, gaze down towards the earth, bring the left hand in. Walk the right foot all the way through. So you come into a low lunge here. Place the left hand on the earth. And bring the right hand to the heart and again gaze up towards the sky, coming into this low lunge twist. Paribhita Janyasana. Exhale to gaze down towards the earth. We're going to move into monkey lunge, or monkey twist. Oops, there goes my vata knees. Bring the left forearm to the earth or leave your left hand there on the earth. Wherever you are, my friends, take the right hand to the right knee and begin to spiral by pushing the right knee slightly out gently and lifting your bed. Keep that right hand on the that right hand on the right knee. And lifting up towards the sky. Turn your gaze down towards the earth. Inhale to rise up. Let's take the sit bones back towards the left heel, extend through the right leg. So we come into Ardha Hanumanasana. Half splits. Walk the right hand to the inside and let's walk our right and left hands towards the left here so that we create a diagonal with the body. Keep flexing that foot. Lengthen the spine here. You can be high up on your fingertips or your palms. I like to create space here. Keep flexing that right foot. Imagine that you're squeezing your legs together so that your right leg is activated. Hug the navel in towards the spine. Walk your hands back to center. Roll through the foot. And then let's bring that right foot back maybe give it a stretch by holding it parallel above the earth and then bring the right leg down to the earth take a moment here let's circle through the hips maybe you bring the whole of your spine in here reach back with the left foot tuck the toes engage here so engagement is a hugging in. So push out through the heel of that left foot as if you're about to sprint. Fingers are spread wide as if you're clawing the earth. Hug the navel in towards the spine. Reach the crown forward so that you are counter-reaching 
through that left heel and the crown. Bring the right hand to the heart. Inhale. Sorry, bring the left hand. Yeah, right hand to the heart. I'm trying to remember which way I twisted before. And then begin to circle your gaze. Feels odd. I feel like I've done this side before. Gazing up towards the sky. Exhale down towards the earth. Take a moment there. Bring that, keeping that left leg extended. Let's rise up on the left hand and again spiral up towards the sky. I'm not sure which side I've done. I feel like I've done the same side. This is always my challenge, is remembering. Exhale to gaze down. Bring that left knee forward, left foot forward. Place the right hand on the earth, left hand on the heart. Doing a little low twist here. And Janyasana. Exhale to gaze down towards the earth. Now, my friends, we're going to come into our monkey lunge. You can keep your right forearm on the earth or your left hand. And then let's begin to mind my dog's tail. With the left hand, gently ease open that left knee. Coming into your monkey lunge here. One more breath, release the hand, bring the hand to the inside and let's reach back with the tailbone to extend through that left leg, coming into Ardha Hanumanasana. Bring the left hand to the inside of your left leg and walk your hands over to the right. And maintain length in the spine. Keep that left leg flexed. Coming back to center, rolling through that foot. And then let's take that left leg back, hold it parallel behind you, stretch it out, and then bring that knee to the earth. And then let's cycle through our hips. Maybe you need to release your wrists now. So interlace all your fingers and begin to create an infinity circle. Infinity, the symbol that never ends, this loop, figure of eight, marking that our freedom, our sense of liberation once attained is for infinite time. The liberation of the soul is for infinity. Back onto your hands, my friends, tuck your toes, inhale, lift the hips. Coming into Parvatasana, mountain pose. Pedal your feet here. And then when you're ready, let's come into stillness. Claw through the hands. Heels heading towards the earth. Gentle bend in the knees. Hug the navel in. And then let's walk the hands back towards the feet so we can come into our functional forward fold. Take the hips behind the heels, hands high up on your fingertips or on blocks or perhaps furniture. Breathe into the back body here. Heat, feet are parallel, knees have a bend, spine is long. As you breathe in towards the sacrum, Imagine that you're expanding the lungs, the rib cage, the whole of the abdomen. So 
so that you are pumping air as if you are pumping bellows or a hot air balloon. One more breath here, walk the hands back towards you, bring them to your hips or bring the left hand and the right hand to your heart, maintaining the length in your spine, rise up so you need power through your legs as you rise up, gazing ahead. Take a moment here. Inhale, reach behind, interlace your hands into your yoga mudra. Draw your hands down towards the earth. Open through the heart. Lift your gaze. Feel inspired to rise up. Your back body here is strong and resisting and engaged. So we're activating the posterior chain here as the front line of the body is open. Bend into your knees, exhale, hinge from the hips halfway and then all the way down towards the earth. Tanasana, your yoga mudra. Exhale, release your hands back towards your feet. Right hand to the middle, left hand to the heart. Turn your gaze up towards the left. You might bend deeply into the right knee. Exhale, gaze down towards the earth. Left hand to the earth, right hand to your heart. Turn your gaze to the right. Bend deeply into the left. Exhale, gaze back down. Let's walk your hands forward. Come into our Parvatasan mountain pose. Reach behind with your right leg. Extend long. Bend into that right knee. Open up the right hip. Perhaps you circle the right knee. And then, my friends, let's take that right foot wide. Bring it up towards the right hand. Stay on the ball of your left foot to rise up to Anjaniyasana, high lunge. Bring your left hand to your heart, to right hand on top. Connect with the calling of the soul, your purpose to become liberated, to express your freedom, to seek the freedom of others. Mukshaham. Inhale, hands reach up. Padma, lotus above the crown. Now, the reason we're symbolizing with the lotus. The lotus represents the three gunas. All these qualities or principles. Tamas is that heavy, dense, Rooted, ground energy. It's the roots of the lotus in the mud. The stalk or the stem of a lotus, as it seeks to rise up out of the mud, is rajas. This is the fiery, active energy, the action that drives us. This is the process or action towards liberation. And then the flowering of the petals is sattva. This is when we come into tranquility, harmony, balance, a state of liberation, a state of freedom. Exhale, seed to the heart. Take a moment here, then hands to the earth. Step back long with the right foot. You can bring your knees immediately to the earth or stay lifted in body parallel. Palakasana. Option, my friends, Ashtang Asan, eight limbed pose to the earth or Chatarang to the earth. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise up in up dog or cobra. Exhale, let's all meet in mountain. Take a moment here.
Inhale. Let's step up with the left leg reaching high. Bend into the knee, open out the hip. Perhaps you circle the knee here. And then let's thread that left foot towards the left, left hand. Stay high on the ball of your right foot. Rise up into high lunge. Hands at the heart, left hand on and right hand over left. The left hand we place closer to the heart. The left represents yin. Receptivity, nurturing, caring, nourishment. Inhale, Padma to the sky. Exhale, hands to the earth. Take a moment here and we're going to step back along with the left leg again. Coming into Falakasan, or you can bring your knees to the earth immediately. Exhale, lower in Tataranga or Ashtang Asana, exhaling to the earth. Inhaling to rise up into Up Dog. Bujangasan. Let's all meet in mountain. Take a moment here. Walk your hands back towards your feet, coming into functional forward fold. Let's take the weight of the hips and pelvis behind the heels. Spine is long. Bring the left hand to the heart, right hand to the heart, and let's rise up strong here. Reach your hands behind you, interlace them, draw your hands away from your body. Activate here by hugging everything in. So imagine you're squeezing a block between your thighs. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Hug in the navel, which will draw in the ribs as they're knitting together. Lift the crown. And as you exhale, bend into the knees, hinge from the hips halfway. And then let's reach all the way down. Release your hands with care, bringing them to the earth. Place the right fingertips to the center. Bring the left hand to the heart. Bend into the right knee. Lift your gaze. Exhale. Turn to center. Left hand to the earth. Right hand to heart. Bend into the left knee. Lift your gaze. Open your heart. Turn back to the earth. Take a moment here. You can bring your hands to your hips or hands to your heart. Inhale to rise up strong towards freedom, liberation. Take a moment here. Turn to the side. I'm going to step across our mat here. Let's take a big stance here. Bend into the knees, turn your toes out. And let's bring your hands to your thighs. Relax your shoulders. We're going to open up with the twist. And so your option can to leave your hands on your knees or bring your hand to your heart. So let's turn over to the left. So bring that left hand to the inside of that left knee. Bring the right hand to the heart or you can maintain that hand on your right thigh. And let's turn to the other direction. So let's flow like this in Devyasana. Three times. 
into each direction. And then back to center, take a moment here. Perhaps you rock from left to right here. And then straighten through the legs. Let's turn the left toes forward and left heel slightly out. We're going to hinge over to the right for our Trikonasana. So I invite you to maintain this left hand on the heart. Hinge towards the right. As you slide your leg down, your right hand down the leg. And that left fingertips can be on the earth or on your block. Open the left heart, left towards the sky. Keep the left hand on the heart. Moksha hum. How do I feel free? What does it feel like to be free? What does it feel like to work towards liberation? One breath here, gaze down towards the earth, bend into that right knee. Bring the right hand to the inside and let's reach up and over with the left arm. Left hand back to the heart. Now, my friends, bring that left knee to the earth. Turn the left foot behind. Rise up, bring the right forearm onto your right thigh, left hand on your heart. If you wish to bring a mutra to your right hand, I invite you to bring the Kash mutra, the mudra for space, ether, by bringing the thumb to the middle finger. Take a moment here. Inhale, reach up and over with the left hand. Exhale, left hand to the heart to return to center. Bring the right hand to the earth in front of the right foot. Reach up and over. Left hand to the heart. Turn your gaze towards the sky. Inhale to rise back to center. Bring the right hand to the earth. Now from here, my friends, I invite you to come to the earth. So. Bring this left foot slightly in front of you and then bring the right foot towards you. Bend that, keep that bend in that right knee. So that we have this very open, open stance here. This right hand can hug that right knee. You can rest it on that right knee. Left hand on the heart. So here, let's tune into how it feels in the body. So we feel a constriction on the right side. And we feel the expansion in the space on the left side. This right knee might want to move in, and that's okay. Try and bring it back towards the right armpit. One more breath here. So this is a pose, a variation of the Devyasana. One breath here. And then let's bring our hands to the earth. Inhale, come onto your toes so that we come into Malasana. Squat here, back into the mud from which the lotus grows. So bring the hands into the seed here. We're going to rise up into Devi Asana. And as we do, we're going to open up our Padma, the flower mudra. Inhale to rise up. Be strong through your legs here. Take your feet wide when you need to. Reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Straighten through your legs. Take a moment here, and then let's turn the right toes in, right heel out. Moving into Trikonasana on the left side, right hand on the heart. Soft bend in this left knee. Hinge over to the left and slide that left fingertips towards the earth. Open the heart to the sky. Mm. 
One more breath here in Trikonasana. Let's bend into that left knee and bring that left hand to the earth. So you might want to rise up on your fingertips and then reach up and over with the right arm. Extended side angle. Upita Pashava Konasana. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Let's bring the left forearm onto the left thigh and bring that right knee to the earth and turn that right knee back. So we create this letter H shape here. And again, you can bring your left hand into a Kash Mudra. Exhale, reach up and over with the right arm. Bring the left hand to the heart. Bring the left, right, right, right hand to the heart, left fingertips to the earth. And again, let's reach up and over. Exhale, hand to the heart. And we're going to come and sit towards the right sit bone by swiveling that right leg foot slightly in front and then hug the left foot in. So we come back into this seat of the goddess. You can hug in that left knee, or you can rest your left hand on it. Right hand can be on that right knee or on the heart. One more breath here. We're going to rise up through Malasa into Devyasana. So let's bring our hands to the earth. Tuck that right toe. Let's come into our Malasana Ayogi squat. Hands in the seed of potentiality. And when you're ready, my friends, let's begin to rise up. So really power through your legs. Engage. Imagine you're squeezing your thighs in. So really activate those inner adductors to rise up. You can take your feet wide. Coming into your Udkata, Udkata Konasana, Udeviasana pose. Exhale, rise up, straighten through the legs. Let's reach behind, interlace your fingers, draw your hands down towards the earth. Exhale, bend into the knees, hinge forward halfway. And then all the way down towards the earth, turn your toes forward so the outer edges of your feet are parallel. Exhale, release your hands. Let's place the right hand on the earth, left on the heart, left hand on the heart, and turn your gaze up towards the left. Gaze down, left fingertips on the earth, right hand on the heart, turn your gaze towards the sky. Exhale, turn your gaze down towards the earth. Inhale. Power through here so you can bring your hands to your hips or hands to your hearts, bend into your knees and rise up to standing. And then let's heel toe, our feet in towards each other. Take a moment here. Deep breath. Inhale, shift the weight into the left leg and bend into the right knee and catch the right knee with your hands. Take the left hand to the heart and then open up the knee to the right. Inhale, back to center. Now, my friends, you have the option of catching hold of your toe or wrapping a belt or maintaining the variation we started with. And then let's take the right leg out to the side. So if you have a bend in your knees, I have very tight hamstrings because of the rowing that I do. But extend your leg here. Exhale. Doesn't matter. We're not going for perfection. We're going for practice. And then let's lower that right knee to the earth. (sighs) 
Inhaling. Let's bring the left knee up and hug that with the left hand and keep the right hand on the heart. Find your balance. Open out that knee to the left. Inhale back to center. Option here to catch hold of your toe. Open out the leg to the side. And again, doesn't matter if your leg is straight or has a bend in it, you have a strap or you're with the first variation. This is our practice. It's not about perfection. When you're ready, my friends, and you may wobble like me, turn it into a move and come back to the earth. Muksha Mukshaham, Mukshaham. Inhale, let's reach up into Padma. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment here. Reach behind and lace your hands. Hinge from the hips. Exhale to fold over. Release your hands to the earth. Let's come to the earth through a squat. Toe squat. The option to keep your fingertips on the earth or bring your hands to your heart. And when you're ready, my friends, let's come all the way to the earth. Extend the legs long, Dandasana. Staff pose. Flex your feet. Lift your crown. Hands on your heart. And when you're ready, let's lift our lotus up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips to reach forward towards the feet. Let's come into Paschimottanasana, forward fold. You can have a bend in your knees here, my friends. Crown reaching forward, heart melting towards the earth. Now, my back has a curvature um, because of the early signs of scoliosis. Maintain length in your back where you can, my friends. Inhale, let's walk the hands back, rise up, maintaining the length in your spine. Take a moment here, bend into your knees, coming into boat pose, Nukasana. So fingertips can stay on the earth, hands on the earth. Or you can bring your hands to your heart, yogis, wherever you are. Come onto your toes. Engage the core here. So imagine you have a block between your feet, your thighs. Inhale, lift one toe and lift the other toe. Fingers can be on the earth or you can have your hands on your heart. One full breath here. If you wish to extend your toes to the sky, you are invited to do so. Exhale, hands to the earth. Let's lower all the way down onto our backs. Take a moment here. You can move into bridge pose. So walk your feet towards your fingertips. Let's tilt the pelvic bowl internally and externally so that we can feel the lower back connect here with the earth. 
or tilt the bow. And then allow the spine to come into neutral, which means you will have a little gap here. Press into your hands, your forearms, your upper arms. Tilt the pelvic bowl. Perhaps you use your arms as a scaffold here by bending into the elbows and begin to lift the pelvic bowl. Squeeze the block, imaginary block between the thighs. Lifting the hips and pelvis towards the sky and peeling the spine off the earth here. Maintain that solid connection between the shoulder blades and the earth. You may be using your upper arms as a scaffold. Keep the gaze up towards the sky. Let's bring the hands together, interlace the fingers. You have the option here of coming up onto the balls of your feet. Or staying with the feet on the earth. If you wish, you can lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring the left foot down towards the earth. Inhale to lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale to lower the right foot to the earth. And when you're ready, my friends, let's lower to the earth, moving slowly and mindfully. And once you connect with your hips and pelvis, allow your spine to neutralize here, to realign. Take a few moments here. Hug in the knees. Bhavan Muktasana. Perhaps you roll gently on your lower back here. When you're ready, my friends. Let's gently release the knees over to the left to come into our Supta Matsindrasana reclined twist. You can bring that left hand to the heart. Right hand can reach overhead or out to the side. Turn your gaze over to the right. You may close your eyes. You're invited to ease here into this sense of the state of being, a sense of physical liberation in this moment. Softening here, surrendering to this moment of being free. Three, four breaths here. Inhale, lower the right arm if it's lifted overhead. Release the left hand from the heart and inhale, hug in the legs towards the heart. Gentle hugging here, Bowen Muktasan. And then when you're ready, let's release the knees gently over to the right. left hand on your right hand on your heart 
left hand away from your body or overhead. And then turn your gaze towards the left. Mukshaham, an affirmation of the self, the liberated self, in a state of freedom, awareness of the limitations of the body, the mind, the society, and then processing, progressing through the body mind this sense of freedom. Inhale back to center. Hug in your knees. Gentle rock and roll from side to side on your lower back. Inhale to lift the third eye. The eyebrow center towards the knees. Hug everything into a small seed here. And then on the exhale, let's release everything to the earth, coming into Shavasana, extending your legs long, arms wide, slightly tucking the chin. If you wish to bring a blanket or add extra layers to yourself, this is a good time to do that. And once you are ready, closing your eyes, connect with the physical self, the constraints of the body, the limitations of this material physical form that we have. And then connect with the sense of the self that is beyond the physical body, the subtle body. The expansiveness of the soul, the expansiveness of the breath. The sense of freedom, the sense of being liberated through our spiritual wisdom, cultural practices. Then connect with the heart, often the seat, the seat of the spirit, the seat of the soul, anahatta, unstruck, unseen, unheard, unbidden, and the freedom that sits deep within this space. And it is that freedom which we are seeking to be liberated into. Inhaling muksha, exhaling hum, silently on the breath. Inhaling muksha, 
exhaling hum. Inhaling muksha. Exhaling hum. Surrender to this moment. Surrender to the state of being. We surrender into freedom. Freedom is the essence of our beings. We act and respond to the call of liberation. Liberation is the journey, is the calling. This is where we act, engage. This is the paradox of freedom and liberation. Embracing these opposites of being an action, to be, to act. Inhale, moksha. Exhale, hum. Inhale, moksha, and visualize this as a light spreading throughout the whole of your physical being. Exhale, hum. Inhale, moksha, this expansive light of being. Exhale, hum, the surrender. Inhale, muksha, this light of being. Surrender to hum on the exhale. Begin to curl and uncurl your fingers and toes. Gentle movements. Begin to expand them, perhaps by curling and tightening and flexing and releasing and expanding and letting go through the fingers and toes. Begin to rotate the ankles and the wrists. Sway the head from left to right. Inhale to gather in the knees, gentle hug. And then let's release and roll over onto the left side. Your left hand as a pillow or forearm as a pillow, your right hand as a support. Sleeping Krishna. And then when you're ready, my friends, let's rise up slowly, mindfully, transitioning from Shavasana. Shavasana is the corpse pose. After our yogic practice, it is said that we come to a natural transition from death into rebirth as we rise from the mat. Bring your hands together in Anjali at the heart, the seed. Inhale, open up the Padma. Let's chant Moksha Ham and Om Shanti. Moksha Ham, 
Mukshaham, Mukshaham, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Danyavat, my friends. Danyavat, Danyavat.